Welcome back to Shelly and A, where you know when we're on. It's popping, y'all. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We love you already. Guys, we have some cute, cute news. We finally made it to... <laughs> we finally made it to 500 subscribers. I don't know why I'm laughing hysterically. We made it to 500 subscribers, finally. Yeah! Jeez! Yeah, we are over exhausted I feel and yes. it's just that's why we're having laughing panic attacks so anyways yeah we have 500 subscribers thank you guys so much we are celebrating by having cookies and milk and Nay's drinking tea yeah but we are celebrating and we just want to thank you guys so much truly from the bottom of our hearts thank you for all of your continued support mm -hmm. your love for sharing Shelly and Nay telling your friends about Shelly and Nay no telling your besties about Shelly and Nay we're gonna keep bringing you cute content for your head tops because you guys deserve it of course so today we were just gonna be doing kind of a get to know us a little bit better type of situation, Q and A, whatever you wanna call it. That's what we're doing, as well as this is an appreciation post slash celebration post for our 500 subbies. And our views are going up, so slowly but surely, they're going up, so thank you once again. But before we get into this get to know us Q and A type of thing, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell if you're nasty, and don't forget to tell your best. First question is, do you like surprises? Why or why not? Hmm. That's a good one for you, I feel. Yeah, I really don't like surprises. Mainly for the sole fact that my anxiety can just be way too high at points and I need to know what's happening, when it's happening, where it's happening, how it's happening, who it's happening with and to. And I just, it's, I don't really want to say it's a control thing, but I just, I need to be comfortable in all areas of my life. Mm -hmm. um, I think I've had like maybe one surprise party probably in my whole life and I think I turned 13. And I think at that point I didn't really care as much, but over the years I've just gotten a lot more protective of what makes me comfortable and what doesn't make me comfortable. And mm -hmm. surprises don't make me that comfortable. Um, whether it be someone surprising me showing up at my door or <laughs> surprising me with a birthday party or surprising me with food. Like I'd like to know because it helps me and it'll help you. Cause I don't want to <laughs> make someone feel bad also for trying to surprise me with something. Cause I feel like it also takes a lot of work and time and effort to kind of plan those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's going to be a no. Mm -hmm. It's good to know too because your birthday's coming up, so take note. For me, I do like surprises. The way I, how I am, I'm the surpriser. So when I met you and you didn't like surprises, I was like, oh. <laughs> so I still surprise you in our own way. Like if I bring you home something or do something nice for you at the house, but not like a public in front of everybody surprise mm -hmm. type of thing or. You also people know jump what I like, you. So yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. like you exactly. kind of know what you can and can't do, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I love a good surprise. <laughs> question number two, <laughs> this is a good one. We're doing kind of weird questions, guys, so just bear with us. How many pillows do you sleep with? That's a cool question. I feel like I, if I could sleep with 48 million pillows, I would, <laughs> but I sleep with two so one underneath my head and then one in between my knees or under my legs i literally sound like an old woman <laughs> but that's truly like the knockout position like i can pretty much knock out relatively easy if i have a good lift under my legs it just oh, aligns the back so nicely mm -hmm. um, but yeah two pillows mm -hmm. <laughs> i sleep with at least three pillows so i have one body pillow, one thin pillow for my head slash under my neck, and one thick pillow, which I put either between my knees or under my legs. And sometimes I just squish myself in with the three pillows, so. Mm-hmm, yeah. And sometimes her pillows will start to push me off the bed, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She doesn't really care. <laughs> She's like, yep, that's the truth. <laughs> Question number three, what would you change about yourself and why? I think I would change 
the fact, or I think I wish that I could help absorbing too much of things that don't concern me directly or don't really involve me. I think I have a hard time putting certain things to rest and it's like I always have to talk about things a million times or like I have to figure it out or I have to let it stress me out to the point where my own sanity is taken away. Yeah, I think that's probably it. I would just, I wish I could keep some things at like surface level and just not let it like get so deep inside me that it controls me. That makes sense. There's so many things, honestly, like I'm not gonna lie, but the one that keeps popping up in my head is just my anger, I guess. Bad temper, hot blood. I would definitely change that because you feel out of control, you know, like you just, it is uncontrollable and I don't know. I keep hearing that you can like as humans, we actually can't control things like that. It's our brains, something inside of our brains that actually controls everything we do. Even if we think we're in control, I feel like we're in control, we're actually not. So I guess it would be that. Cause it's unnecessary and it's not cute. Question number four, what did you want to be when you were younger? That changed like 87 times for me, <laughs> me and too. I feel like it probably <laughs> did for every kid. At first it was like, I really wanted to be an artist. Like I just wanted to like mm -hmm. draw and whatever. Have people love my art and stuff. And then I wanted to be a lawyer. But I think- Did I just say today you, you did? did. <laughs> but it, my parents also told me that a few times too growing up, but I think mm -hmm. it was just cause I could talk. Mm -hmm. and talk and talk. Yeah, for, so yeah, basically, so for being young, it was just those two. I went from being an artist to a lawyer and it's completely changed now. Mm -hmm. Like at one point I wanted to be like, um, what do you call it? Like I wanted to just like be a track and field athlete. But I mean, I feel like that was something I thought was more of a hobby than mm -hmm. a life career. So. So at what point did you want to become an actor? Um, probably around 11 years old or 12 years old. I think that was when I was in my first like school production mm -hmm. and that's when I realized, oh, like my love for this is astronomical. Yeah, mine changed a million times too. The first thing that I ever wanted to be was an actor and that's, I have that in written proof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wrote when I was little that when I'm older, I want to become an actor. But yeah, I wanted to act on TV then I wanted to do, <laughs> then I wanted to do cartoon voices. What is that called? Voiceover work? Yeah, I wanted oh, to do cool. voiceover work, but when I was younger, I would call it cartoon voices. And my dad actually always told me I should do that because I was just always doing strange voices or different accents or whatever it was. So he's like, oh, you should do that. <laughs> yeah, then I'm like you, like, then I wanted to be an artist, writer, very creative. Yeah, it was all creative stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 for sure. And then I want to be a chef. Like I just- At what age? Just all, everything, at, well first it was after for sure, and then it was the voiceover work with car cartoon voices. And then artist, writer, those kind of were all throughout elementary school as I was getting older. Mm -hmm. And then in high school as well. I took writer's craft, I remember I really wanted to be a writer. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, becoming a chef, I just wanted to do that my, as the whole time as well. I just wanted to do everything. <laughs> I remember for career class, we had to choose one thing to be, and I wanted to just be everything. So we had to do it like a project on it, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like what do I want to do? <laughs> and I ended up saying I want to be a psychiatrist because I wow. wanted to do that too. Or psych, sorry, psychologist is a difference. Mm. I wanted to be a psychologist, and I was like standing up there explaining the difference and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, I feel like I got experience with that because aren't we always our peers psychologists and things like that and I would say <laughs> so but anyways everything is my answer <laughs> last question question number five if you could go back in time and change one thing what would it be probably go have gone to more auditions to be honest with you just because acting is something i'm really trying to pursue and there was a couple that i just didn't end up going to because i was super scared or because my anxiety was just like 
like I remember when I was actually it wasn't even an audition it was I was gonna be in this music video and it was by I think it was a rock band I don't even remember I think it was I don't even remember but it was like some rock band and I remember I was halfway there and I got so anxious. I remember I just took myself to a restaurant instead and I ate because I was like, I can't. Because I was by myself too and I was just like, oh my God, I'm gonna be odd one out. I, I don't know anybody who's there. I, I'm gonna suck, this and that. And like I was, I was, I was background, so it wasn't even that serious, but it's like, I was just still so scared. And you know, that's another thing I could have just had under my belt and just to take more risks and be braver. I feel like I have the exact same answer. I yeah. was gonna say just take advantage of more opportunities and create more opportunities for myself because that's a big thing that people don't realize you have to create opportunities for yourself mm -hmm. and just do what I wanna do more because I feel like I didn't ever do what I really wanted to do just out of fear yeah. and anxiety and having that worry about what other people think. So I guess that, yeah, just being like you said, being more brave and doing more of what I wanted to do what regardless of to do yeah, yeah regardless of what it was so mm -hmm. yeah so that concludes our get to know us Q&A whatever you want to call it we just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more and thank you once again for hitting 500 subscribers we obviously couldn't have done it without you we appreciate you guys so much and we're going to keep pumping out content let us know what you guys want to see follow us on all social media platforms hit us up interact with us we love it we live for it and thank you guys once again comment down below and let us know what you want to see more of from us because like shelly said we just want to keep pumping content for you guys but we want to know what you love so we can keep serving you if you made it to the end of this video don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell if you're nasty and don't forget to tell your besties continue telling your besties you guys are doing so good we just truly love you. Thank you for being our support system and making us feel like we can actually do this. Mm -hmm. We really love you from the bottom of our, of our hearts. We wish we could meet every single one of you because like your love means a lot to us. So <laughs> thank you. Definitely, definitely. Later, Later cats.